What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to share files that will self-destruct after a preset period of time. This one's made possible by the app Digify, so go ahead and search it by name on the Play Store to get it installed. Think of this like a modern day Mission Impossible message, so if it's something that you don't want falling into the wrong hands, you can set a time limit on how long the message is available to its recipient. That way, the intended viewer can see it, but it's not just laying around on their phone or computer indefinitely for other people to stumble upon. In addition to all that, you can see how many times the recipient has opened your file and how long they've spent viewing it. When you first launch the app, you'll have to create an account using an active email address. It will then send you an email with a link to verify your account, so just follow the prompts and you'll be all set. But with that out of the way, let me show you how the app works. You can share files directly from your device, or you can even set up a Dropbox account to share from. So just pick the source for the file that you want to share, then browse and select the file itself. On the next screen, you'll be asked to enter your recipient's email address, so let me do that real quick. Then you can set the time limit for the file. This is the window during which the recipient can view your file. After that, it will no longer be available to them. So next, just hit send, and the recipient will receive an email notifying them that you've shared this file. Let me switch to that end of things real quick. Okay, so this is the recipient end of things. I just got that email from Digify. And if I tap the link they've provided, it forwards me to the install page for the Digify app on my particular mobile OS. If it had just opened the image in my browser, instead of requiring that the viewer has Digify installed, I could simply save it with that app and the self-destruction would be of little use. So this extra step is actually a good thing. And as an added security measure, Digify does not let you take screenshots of the files. It'll do the same thing for both Android and iOS, so that probably covers pretty much everybody you know. So after installing the app and signing up for an account, I can now view the file that was sent to me. It's pretty straightforward, really. It gives you a timer for how much longer you can view this file, and that's the self-destruction window that I set when I sent the file. But another cool feature is that, as the sender of this file, I can open my Digify app and see that the recipient has viewed my file, and how long they viewed it for. It even shows how many times they've opened the file, so that's pretty cool. But for even more information on Digify, be sure to check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.